Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a revisit for me because I used to own these. Actually, I've owned two CZP07s and this is a revisit. Now you may notice it has the extended mag here because it will take CZP09 mags, the larger version of this, but when I owned it, I enjoyed it, but then I got the CZSP01 Phantom and I let this go. So anyways, let me take a few shots. We'll come back, talk more about it because I know this handgun is a fan favorite for many people. We'll start with the top right. Yep, it shoots just as I remember it. The CZP07 is a fan favorite because it's been around. It's been around since 2009. And what they did later on was they added the Omega trigger, which is a superior trigger with the CZ line. And I will tell you, this trigger is nice. Breaks around three and a half pounds with the reset right there. Very tight. The slide, the frame finish is, or the, the fit is very nice, very smooth, very consistent with CZ. They do an amazing job with this. Now this one has talon grips, but the magazines are interchangeable with other models. Three slot Picatinny rail, 3.75 inch barrel. It also has luminescent sights that are nice. They have a glow in the dark effect and when those are charged by light it makes a night sight kind of scenario and it sticks out a bit which is pretty cool. Like, there's no downside to luminescent sights. Same CZ75 disassemble. I think the slide looks cool the way it's beveled in Okay, a little more contoured. It has forward serrations. Easy disassemble. Disassembles like any other CZ75. Just pull the slide back a little bit and push that pin out. But I like the way it shoots. Now, this is a mid-size handgun with 15-round magazine standard. As I mentioned, P09 mag, which is 19 rounds. We'll take a look at the trigger and the trigger guard. One of the complaints with this is that the double action trigger pull is very heavy. Most double action, single action handguns, the double action pull is pretty heavy and this one is no different. I like the way it shoots overall though. I liked it back when I owned it. I like it now. And so I had to revisit it. One more thing, in 2014, CZ basically changed some of the dynamics of this pistol. They made it a little more user-friendly. This is currently cocked and locked with an ambidextrous thumb safety. In the case, they include a decocker. And it takes some little tools to get the spring in there. I did that with mine. I changed out the thumb safety to a decocker. But those who carry it could carry it cocked and locked like this that's a pretty nice touch let me see how i can do with this one-handed we'll start with the uh, eight inch on the right jumping it All right, it is definitely a smooth shooter. There is no doubt about that. And I, I remember that from the past, but I had to revisit it because I'm out here with TAB and this is his handgun. Another thing they have is memory bumps on the side of the frame. Reinforced polymer is what CZ calls it. Reinforced polymer, I guess it's a stronger polymer. I've noticed that a lot of companies, they want to make their polymer stand out. So they call it something like reinforced polymer. Perhaps it is, but you know, it's, it's basically a polymer frame, hammer fired handgun that performs very well. Now looking at it, it looks like a compact size with a four inch barrel, but that extra quarter inch would make it more of a compact. This is more of a mid-size handgun. 
let me turn the camera around because the recoil is pretty light and I want you to check that out and verify for all those P07 owners out there that this thing is one smooth shooter. Love that trigger, three and a half pounds. That is something to write home about. The MSRP on the P07 is 489 and that has dropped throughout the years as has many of the CZ handguns. However, if you do a search, you're looking at the upper 400. So the store prices have not varied much as, mu as much as the drop that CZ has made with this. So, you know, it used to sell for 550 all day long. Not so much in today's market. If you search, you can get it for the upper 400s. This first shot will be in double action. I want to check out that pull. Not bad, let me try that again. I'm shooting better in double action with this thing and I complained about the heavy. There it is, CZP07. A lot of people dig it. I digged it when I have it and I dig it right now at the range. You know, it's one of those guns where you decide you don't need it anymore, then you fire your buddies and you then decide you need it. But it offers a lot. It's got a very nice single action trigger. Really like that. Mid-sized handgun. Yeah, people carry this. That's what I've heard. And once again, it's a fan favorite by many people. And if you like CZ handguns and you like a handgun with a nice trigger, right around that $500 mark, you may enjoy the P07, I certainly do. And now I regret getting rid of the two that I once owned. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.